guys, Mr. Backberg here. In this video, we're going to look at equations of circles on our coordinate plane. Now, just like we can graph lines using an equation, we can also graph out a circle by using an equation. So this is the standard form of the equation of a circle. Now, there are some very important values in here that tell us things about our circle and where it's located on the grid. If we look at the h and k values, those tell us where our center point is. Now you'll notice in the equation it says minus h and minus k, but in our center point when we write that out as an ordered pair, those things change signs. Okay, that'll be important as we're writing out equations later on. What we can also tell about our circle is we can tell how big our circle is by looking at this r value. Anytime we're dealing with a circle, r means the radius. Now let's look at our standard form. Let's say we wanted to write out the equation of a circle given some information. So let's say we were told where our center point was, and for this one it's going to be at 3, negative 2, and let's say we were told that the length of our radius was 3. Then what we have to do with these values is we have to take them and plug them into our standard form of our equation. Our center point tells us what our h and k values are, and our radius tells us what our r value is. So all we need to do is plug those things into our equation. So if we're looking at that first set of parentheses, it says x minus h. So x minus the h value from our center point is 3 squared, plus in our second set of parentheses, it's y minus our k value, which is negative 2. And we need to square that. And then on the right-hand side, we've got r squared, so we're going to grab that 3 and square it. Now there is a little bit of cleanup work that we can do. In that second set of parentheses, it says y minus negative 2. Since we have a double negative, we can turn that into addition. So the left-hand side of our equation says x minus 3 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals. Now on the right-hand side, we can square that 3 and get 9. So there's the standard form of our circle centered at 3, negative 2 with a radius length of 3. In this example, let's say that our circle is centered at the origin. And it has a radius length of 5. Again, we're going to take our values and plug them into our formula. Now, the center doesn't really give us a point. We're just told that the center is at the origin. But what we have to remember is that the origin is the point 0, 0. So 0 is our h value, and 0 is our k value. Our r value is going to be 5. So let's look at plugging those things into our formula. On the left-hand side, we've got x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 5 squared. Now I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup work. With our parentheses, they both say minus 0, and we don't really need to write the minus 0 in there, because if we have an x value and we don't take anything away from it, then it's still just x. So this first set of parentheses can just turn into x squared, Plus, similar things with the y's. If we're subtracting nothing from it, it's still y, but we have to square that. And then on the right-hand side, if we square our 5, we end up with 25. So there's the standard form of our equation centered at the origin, or 0, 0, with a radius length of 5. Now we can also use this formula to help us figure out what a circle would look like and where it would be graphed out if we're looking at the equation. So let's say we were given this equation, x minus 4 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 36, and we wanted to figure out where the center point is and how big the radius of our circle is. If we're looking at finding that center point, we need to figure out what our h and k values are. So if you look at our formula, it says x minus h. So what number are we subtracting from the x? Well, that's going to be our 4. That's going to be our h value. Now to find the k value, we need to look at what we're subtracting from the y. But in the parentheses, it says plus 2. Well, we can rewrite that using a double negative. Instead of y plus 2, we could rewrite this as y minus negative 2. So the value that's being subtracted from the y is a negative 2. And then in order to find our radius length, we need to look at what our equation is equal to. This is 36, but in our formula, that's our r squared value. So we have to think to ourselves, what number squared is going to give us 36? Or another way to think about it is doing a square root. What's the square root of 36? And the answer is 6. So based on this equation, our circle is centered at the point 4, negative 2, and it's got a radius length of 6. 
In this example, again, we're given the equation, and I want to figure out where the center point of my circle is and what its radius length is. So to find the center point, we need to look at our h and k values. So if we're looking at x plus 7, we need to think about what's being subtracted from the x. But again, we've got a plus happening. So I'm going to rewrite this as x minus negative 7, because double negative turns into positive. So now what value are we subtracting from the x? Well, that's negative 7. So that's our h value. If we look at our k value, the number being subtracted from the y, that's 3. And on the end, we've got equals 9. So this is our r squared value. So what number squared gives us 9? Well, that's 3 for our radius. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.